Hello my lovelies. This is going to be your weekly. We're going to do each element. So fire, water, air, and earth. I will timestamp them in the comments. This week will be as a collective. However, on the 1st of September, which we are fast approaching, I will be doing your monthly readings for each of the 12 zodiac signs. So check those out. They'll be available on September 1st at about 9 a.m. All right. So we're going to start with the sign, or excuse me, with the element of of fire, so Aries, Sag, and Leo. Let's see what we've got going on for your week. All right, fire signs. Let's see how is life treating you? What do you need to know for your week ahead? Just married. Somebody might be eloping or having a big wedding and starting a life together. Interesting. So you fire signs. Are you finally at the phase in life where you're ready to commit to your forever person or are you not quite there yet? Somebody may be moving on, jobs, houses, or relationships. It's time to pack your bags. I feel like it's because you're going towards something new. And you must work out, gym, exercise, and healthy living. So taking good care of yourself. Stargazing. Are you wishing on a, sh on a star? Maybe you're taking a romantic evening out and having a blanket under the stars. Interesting. What signs do you need to not ignore over the next seven days? What do they need to see? Watch out for some spying eyes, monitoring spirits, spying, or gossip. There could definitely be somebody who's watching you. Yep, that's echoed by the unexpected visitor. Guess who? Somebody is making a pop-up surprise. Why do I get the sense that somebody's got an ex that's not ready to let go of them yet? Watch out for that. Watch out for people who are being disrespectful, rude, have no manners, yelling insults, or public humiliation. It's time to take that trash out. All right, fire signs. Let's see what we've got going on. What do you need to know this week? All right. We need to know that it's time to let go of the heartbreak. It's time to focus on healing and release anything that does not serve your highest good. So can you? Can you let go of all of the things that are holding you back and allow yourself to work on healing? What do you need to do? The five of wands in reverse. You need to go towards peace and let go of the conflict. So that's going to be something that might be a challenge for you. What do you need to release this week? Oh, too many choices. What was I saying about an ex might be popping up? Um, I feel like you're going towards somebody that really lights your fire, somebody who really is a good fit for you. And while in the past you may have been a player, let's call a spade a spade, all you fire signs don't like to commit. You love the idea of love, but you also love to be free and have your independence. So the right person would allow you to be yourself and to be free, free spirited, but also give you the love that you also crave. So I feel like there's some internal conflicts here this week. All right, we need to find or restore the balance. So what do you need to think about is can you let go of what is not serving you and can you find the balance in your life, whether that's financial balance, whether that's your spiritual side, your romantic life, you need to let something go in order to see things as balanced. Have a wonderful week. My water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in your energy for your week ahead. How's life treating the water signs? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. What do they need to see? What do they need to know? All right, water signs. Wow, what's going on with you? Ooh, watch out for the smooth talker. There could be some negotiations, sales, manipulation. Be cautious of sneaky people. This is my car salesman card. <clears throat> Why do I call it that? Well, you know, they're really good at smooth talking you into a killer deal that only seems to benefit them. So really be cautious of that. Don't let people manipulate you. There could be some issues with some sneaky people being around. Let's get one more of these for the water signs. Ooh, skydiving. Some sort of adventure awaits you. I feel like you need to just be cautious. Um, maybe don't take any unnecessary risks just yet. You know, we've still got quite a bit of retrogrades going on. But there is some sort of new adventure that's coming in for you. Just be cautious of who you get involved with. I feel like that's the only caution. And dearly departed, with our deepest sympathy, we are sorry for your loss. 
So there could be some sort of grief loss or mourning that you're experiencing. There might be some sort of ending within a relationship. I feel like this is also some sort of adventure. Maybe you've never experienced something like that in your life. So what else is going on? What are some signs that they need to see and not ignore? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ooh, straight to jail. Okay, so somebody feels really stuck. They uh, could be dealing with, you know, a prison sentence or some sort of confinement. What is happening in your world? I feel like there's a lot of drastic changes that are happening. And labels, what are we? Somebody is questioning everything and needing some answers. Are you wanting to label something? Are you going towards your forever person? Looks like somebody thinks you're the dream team. So I do feel like this could be a winning combination and a perfect fit. Know that some exciting times are ahead. You had the adventure awaits you. Know that this is part of an elevation. Some changes are ahead. You are ascending into a new timeline. So what do you need to know over the next seven days? Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What do they need to know? Mm. The knight, or excuse me, the page of coins in the reverse. Have you started to plan or set some goals for the future? I feel like if not, why not? Why aren't you thinking about your, you know, next few months, next year, next couple of years? This is a perfect time to start planning or setting some goals. I would wait a little bit to take action on that, but it's a great time to start planning for the future. You could also be traveling. There might be some movement going on. The Hierophant in reverse. Something is ending. I was just checking to make sure that the deck is not upside down, and it is not. So there's something that Spirit's trying to get you to recognize, and I feel like you might be trying to buck the system in a way where you're breaking tradition or maybe you don't desire a traditional marriage or relationship. I feel like it's important that you do what works best for you. It's not for everybody to decide. It's for you and your person to decide. This is also part of your spiritual growth and your elevation. So maybe you do want to label things. Maybe you do actually want there to to be something solid and you're kind of questioning everything right now know that this is also part of your ascension are you willing to do the work what else do they need to see for their week what do you need to release at this time what do the water signs need to release at this time Ooh, okay, interesting. So I would say that commitment is definitely something you've been contemplating. This is stability coming in. So what you're going to need to release is anything that is unaligned for you to get to that point. I feel like that's what's holding up this commitment from coming in, um, that you also need to release what isn't working in your life in order to get that stability, that solid foundation. I do feel like this offer is coming in, especially because we have the diamond up here at the top, which would symbolize um, like engagements, things like that. So it does look like that stability is coming in. There could be an offer that takes you by surprise and it brings in the stability and commitment you desire. All right. What is it that they need to think about this week? What do they need to think about? Ooh, okay, you've been deceived a lot in the past, it looks like. You've also gone through your own trials and tribulations. You've learned a lot. So you're not starting over from scratch. You're starting out from experience, which is good. This could be, you know, maybe you've already been married before, and maybe this would be like your second or subsequent um, later marriage or commitment. I feel like that also gives you a little hesitation. You don't want to be manipulated by a smooth talker. You want to make sure that this is somebody who is actually good for you. All right. What is their final outcome? Because I never like to leave something on a negative note. What do we need to see? Mm. Okay. So you do have a decision to make about love. Is this really your person? It looks like Cupid's arrow has struck. There's definite chemistry here between the two of you. I feel like they only have eyes for each other. I feel like this person would be devoted to you and only you. I feel like they only want commitment with the right person, same as you, but there's still a choice needing to be made about the future. I feel like if you choose this person, whoever this happens to be, if you think about it long and hard, it's going to lead to the abundance that you are looking for. 
financial security, stability, um, a whole new life, a whole new world, and really building your legacy. I've never noticed this before, but here in the center of this card, it is a Celtic knot. And um, those of you who are familiar with those, they all tend to mean different things. This one would be about like um, coming together with your purpose and with actually um, coming into like alignment with where you're supposed to be. I feel like money has been a struggle, but it won't be for much longer, especially if you are joined in union with whoever this person is. So I feel like you're going to be very shocked when it comes in. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person is ready to come in and actually offer you everything that you've been looking for. I feel like this person really wants you to choose them and only them, and they are willing to offer you the life of your dreams. Get excited. I think it's going to be a really good week, and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by what actually transpires air signs. Let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. How's life treating them this week? What do they need to see? What do they need to know? How's life treating the air signs? What do they need to see and know? There we are. Ooh, are you being treated like the scapegoat in the family, the redheaded stepchild? You might be having problems with your family. What else is happening for them? How's life treating my collective? Ooh, you're fired. Job loss, layoff, money worries. It's time to not give up and keep going. So there's something that's changing in your world over the next week. Be prepared for significant changes. Wine or whiskey, drinks with friends. Wine, drink it, don't complain. I feel like you might need a night out just to kind of like unwind, but if it's a social gathering, maybe save all the complaining for another time with your best friend as opposed to ruining a happy occasion. All right, signs to not ignore. The compass. Are you lost? It's time to find your way. I feel like there's something that's going to change to help you to actually go in a new direction. So if you're feeling a little bit lost, connect with source energy and that's going to help you to to find your way. Remember, you won't be lost for long if you do. Fear. Fear could be rearing its ugly head. Remember, it stands for false emotions appearing real. It is your ego that's in control at that point. You've got to listen to your intuition as opposed to your ego. There we go. And secrets might be coming out. Shh, don't tell anyone. Some sort of secret may be being exposed. All right, air signs, let's see. What do you need to know for this week? What does Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius need to know for the next seven days? Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what do they need to know? Some balance is required in your finances. So can you let go of overspending of excess? Can you release some things in order to actually stop juggling so much? I feel like you have a lot on your plate right now. So if you unexpectedly lost a job, are you prepared for that financially? Most people are not. So can you cut out some things in order to actually protect yourself financially? I feel like that's gonna be your lesson. What do you need to do this week? Hmm. You definitely need to let go of something or someone from the past. I do feel like in the tail end of this Mercury in retrograde, we are going to still have some little bumps in the road about reminiscing from the past, exes resurfacing, things like that. So know that it's par for the course and you have a decision to make about, you know, do you continue on this or do you finally close the cycle? So what do you need to release? love. Let it come when it's meant to come from who it's meant to come from. Don't try and micromanage things. Don't try and interfere. Don't try and rush the situation. If new love is meant to find you, it simply will. Remember that we attract, we do not chase, and what is meant for us will simply find us. So can you let go of the past in order to let new love in? That may be your lesson. What do you need to think about? Well, it looks like someone's coming in to make that offer. So you may have to contemplate whether you choose the new or whether you choose the old. The decision is always yours. I do feel like somebody wants to come in and make an offer. I don't know that this person is ready for commitment. This person is. Again, choices. What are we juggling here? 
Something that you also need to contemplate is, is the job that you're currently at working. It may be time for a change. Lots of frustrations around money and work right now. So really making wise decisions. Um, somebody is kind of evolving a little bit, but then it's like they revert backwards. So there could be some bold moves being made. There could be some public decor declarations of love and feelings. There could also be somebody who's trying to kind of give you a once and done sort of situation so really choose wisely but some communications coming in and you may be what's holding you back from where you want to be so can you see the situation differently in order to be objective you may need to remove the uh, blinders that you have on you might need to also remove the emotions and just see facts figures and logic this person may see you as their forever person. This could be somebody that really wants to go the distance with you. I do feel like you need to step into your divine energy and really choose what is best for you. It's funny how she's looking in this direction. So she's looking at success. She may not see love. It might not be on her radar this week. But I do feel like success will find you at the right time. So be patient. Watch out for snakes along the way. Know that you have a lot of uh, loyal entities, angels, and things like that that are helping you. And this is a divinely guided intervention that is allowing you to be successful and to step into your divine energy. Have a great week. All right, my lovelies, last but not least are earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you this week and how is life treating you? What do we need to see? What do we need to know for the next seven days? There it is. All right, cup of coffee, daily energy boost, caffeine addict. They know you at Starbucks. Do we have a bit of an addiction that we need to work on? I feel like while you might need the extra little boost, be cautious that it's not turning into something that's negative. Start over, make a fresh start, and don't waste your life. It's time to get out there and live. So is there some place in your life that you need a fresh start? Um, I feel like you need to make the effort to actually get out there and do that. Start by cleaning your house purge clean tidy up and let go of the mess so there might be some things to let go of this week what else do we need to see what are some signs that the earth signs need to not ignore over the next seven days what do they need to see Ooh, the uno reverse some sort of turnaround changes and a start over so you're going to start to make some changes that's going to allow things to transform that's interesting and you're about to cross a finish line. So you're closing out a hard cycle. You're completing something because the lesson has been learned, allowing you to see the insight, gaining the wisdom. So you're closing out something and that will allow a fresh start to come in. Stop, don't go forward. You can't go to the finish line until you've learned the lesson. That's how it works. It's like you can't master or you can't go to the next level. Like think of schools in grade school. You know, you can't go to the next level until you've mastered everything you need to know. So I feel like there's one final test before you pass that finish line. And who's in the doghouse? Someone's in trouble. There could be anger issues, no contact or separation. All right, what do you need to know over the next seven days show me what virgo taurus and capricorn need to see for their next seven days virgo taurus capricorn Ooh, you have a wish fulfillment coming in remember that those come in divine timing you cannot rush the process you have to achieve whatever that level is in order to see it remember to pour into your own cup of love first before you pour into another and as always it will happen in divine timing but it is a wish fulfillment so don't lose hope that it's possible all right what do you need to do nothing there is somebody else that's coming in to give you this offer i feel like someone's got a crush on you and they may be reaching out to express that release what do you need to release i feel like you need to release the conflict and chaos it could be internal it could be external the six of swords says that you are leaving conflict and chaos behind and going towards calmer waters maybe that's your wish fulfillment all right what do you need to think about this week I feel like you need to contemplate what it is you really want. 
Um, flight, flighty energy with the Knight of Wands. So it could be a fire sign that's maybe non-committal. We have a page in the night, so I don't know that it's really going to go anywhere. And I feel like the wish is that it will. So let's see what else is coming in. I do feel like there is somebody that's kind of like connecting to their intuition. We do have the third eye is wide open. So maybe this person's finally seeing um, things differently. Maybe it's you that's seeing things differently. But I do feel like there's some forward progress. I feel like it comes in quickly or there's some sort of communication. Yes. So there is this chance for a new beginning. Good luck coming into you. I feel like the Ace of Wands is an indication that there's a lot of creativity and passion. And so don't get swept up in that and don't get carried away with that. If you're looking for stability, it may not come in the form of a page or a knight. But I do feel like you need to slowly learn to trust again and learn to let your guard down. The arrow is symbolic for going in a new direction. So can we leave what's broken and in the past in the past? And are we able to let our guard down slowly to let something new in our future? I feel like you just need to kind of get your creative juices flowing again. You need to kind of see the situation differently. If it is truly a different person coming in and making an offer, don't make them pay for somebody's mistakes in the past. I do feel like the arrow is always symbolic for transformative energy. Remember, there's usually a setback before you can go forward. As you pull back the arrow, it launches forward in a new direction. All right. Lots of frustrations around work and money, but I do feel like that's changing. No time is not running out on your dreams or your goals. And you do have to close this chapter before you can cross the finish line. The lesson must be learned. You've got to let go of the backstabbing and betrayal in order to get to this new beginning. So let the past go. Work on you and do the healing. And that is where you will find the fruits of your labor. So positive changes coming in for your money and a whole lot more happiness. So please learn the lessons that are very difficult so you don't have to repeat them. Go towards the things that you're passionate about, the people that inspire you, and the connections that bring you happiness. And there you will find your freedom. Have a wonderful weekend. We will see you soon.